And she's back. Welcome to Tennis in a Minute. I'm your host, Good Energy, Alicia Parks, and her tennis partner, Kalashinkova, taking on Claire Lou and Santa Maria. They had a tough scare in the first round against Trevisan and Paulini, but the serving ability of these two amazing ladies got, look, they got through that test. If they win here, they did break initially to start the match. Now they're trying to hold. They have the advantage. Look, two aces already from Alicia Parks. It <laughs> looks amazing. What's new? Now as a team, they're winning 60% of their first serves so far. It's still early. 50% of their second. Uh, Claire Lou and team, look, Santa Maria, 50% of their first serves, 30% of their second serves. So a lot of pressure coming from the return team duel of Parks and Kalashenkova. But listen, guys, if they get through this match, they'll face a very tough test. Asia Muhammad and Taylor Townsend, who have already won a doubles championship this year. And listen, guys, looking at Alicia Park's form, uh, she looks fit. Uh, one of her longtime followers recently told me that she recently uh, got a deal with Asics. Beautiful. That's good. The sponsors, it's time to rev them up, right? And uh, she also changed racket. So that's interesting news. Look, so we found out that she likes a 45 pound racket for the power, right? That gives you a lot more power, but not necessarily the best control. But um, nonetheless, she looks amazing. Uh, she looks slimmer. And, and look, I knew going to the United Cup would kind of set her back back a little bit but look it's a great experience you can't turn it up because she's slimmer look at her first and second round qualification matches to get into the open and look at her now a lot slimmer and look a lot of times you just really when you're coming back from i consider that a vacation like aside from sitting down watching as a reserve she may have had some hitting sessions but other than that she's probably just being a tourist and you know enjoying the you know the hotel stay but the reality here is she looks a lot slimmer. She looks good. And I can't wait to see her at the Indian Wells in Miami, both master events. And I think she's going to have an amazing season. She said in her own words, she thinks she'll be a top 10 player this year. I hope she does. I mean, let's just be honest. I think she's got what it takes. She's number 10 on my American list. I mean, look, she has a great run this first half of the year. It's a shame she's not in the Australian Open. They do need to change that policy. Let's just be honest. If, you, if you're ranked 75th, on tour, you should make a slam, right? Why do we have a cutoff point? That policy, I think it's outdated, right? With all the technology we have after a tournament, the points are literally updated. If a tournament ends on a Saturday or Sunday, the points are updated that Monday. Why do we have a cutoff point for the Australian Open when the season doesn't end until late December? Yes, the main tour, they shut it down after the finals, which is what, mid-October, early November. But the reality here is, the lower level of the tour doesn't stop until December and you're awarding points. If you're awarding points, they should run up until the end of the calendar year. Right. Just makes sense. Um, but the reality here is I, I just think it would be easier that way instead of doing a cutoff point. But I mean, it's the first made the first major of the year doesn't start until two weeks into the new year. So why cut off points in November? You know, so Kat McNally was the la from the USA. She was the last person to receive a wild card for the cutoff point for, for, for her performance in November. But nonetheless, guys, Alicia Parks and team, let's see if they can get a doubles grand slam. That would be amazing. But she looks amazing. And Claire Lewin team, they're trying to stay alive here. They're already broken. So stay tuned. Doubles action, Australian Open. This is good energy. Thanks for the love and support. Please like the video. I will see you guys soon.